Hi Jing Mowers. Welcome to another Tech Talk Tuesday. In this episode, it's all about elbows. Elbows are really powerful, but if we don't apply them correctly, we can leave ourselves open and vulnerable. Let's take a look. Mm, okay, good. There's a way of improving this with very little, yes. little more. Okay. We just step. That's all we have to do. So it doesn't matter what hand it is that we start off with. If I'm going to do Hun Zhang with this hand, yep. I think about the circle as being small and it's coming this way. So I need to turn, step back with my left, my right foot, so I can turn the elbow in. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. One. So instead of there, because. In this position here, my Hun Zhan actually is not at its most effective. It's most effective when I'm going to do this turn. Walk. Uh, walk. <laughs> yeah. And Hun Zhan into it. Yeah. So, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, right. good. So, one step Hun. Yep. Like so. That's effective. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's the first thing, step. The second thing is when you get that detail, Second thing is to make your hunzang go down at 45 degrees. Yeah. Is it down, but also not lifting the shoulder? That's correct. Yeah. You, you're correct. Yeah. Down, but not lifting the shoulder. So it's the direction of the elbow as opposed to what I do with my wing. Don't, don't flap it like a wing. It's just, it's at that angle, and I follow that trajectory. Like so. So we're here. One. So one position is to pull back. And now I've exposed this side. I follow that and go down at 45. So I'm turning into my own ma, mm. to my right leg. Mm. So I'm not throwing my head. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Okay. Once again, one step. And now I follow that line to this point. Right. Open yeah. there. Okay, give that a go. Okay, that's it, that's it. So it's not this. So you're just, you're using the top half of your body. So turn the waist. Turn the waist. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it, try. You're welcome. Yeah. So watch my back, right? So what you're doing is this. See how you're swaying out at an angle? You want to turn. It's like this. Turn as opposed to do this. Because the reason is, stand here. Put your hand there, like that. So I've grabbed, right? I want to turn past this point. So I've pulled the hand. And I want to go like this, go through the line. Yep. Watch me. Don't just don't move. All right. So we just we fabricate the angle. So one, I want to go through that line, like this. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So because I've moved my center, it appears like I'm actually going past the point, but I'm not. All I'm doing is taking up the slack in my own body movement, yeah. as opposed to maintaining that axis and just turning through it. So it's don't add any movement, just turn is turn. Don't add a sway in there, right? Because it feels like we're stronger. It may very well be that there's more thrust, but because there's no penetration, my hand stops there. Doesn't matter whether it's a freight train. If I can stop the freight train before the impact, there's no impact, yeah. right? Makes sense. Mm. Try it in. Yeah, it's starting to feel like dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. Because it can, there's no stopping it. Yeah. yeah. So that's very different now. Yeah. It's quite a, like, a hit. Yeah. 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 Try again. Just be careful. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. You're welcome. So what did you get for yourself? Share in the comments below. I'd really like to hear from you. Let's get back to it. See ya.